Hi friends, in this episode, we're gonna share with you the top 10 tips on what to do or not do when you get pulled over by a police officer. Now, it doesn't always have to be just when you get pulled over in, in the roadway, but these tips will be very helpful for you. So watch all the way to the end so you get all 10 tips. You might even get a bonus. Friends, welcome to Green Car Guys TV. I'm your host, John Ting. We represent clients in all 50 states of America and all across the world, from the East Coast to the West Coast. Now let's get into the details. Number one, this is what you wanna do. You want to remain calm. I know this may sound a little too obvious, but we're number one, we're sharing all this, all these tips because not only do immigrants run into trouble, right? You may not even have you might not have done anything wrong. You could have spent been speeding over the speed limit. It's quite normal to speed at least five miles per hour over the speed limit. But if you're new into America, things are different. Maybe in your country or where you're from, it's normal to speed a lot faster, but there's certain rules, laws you need to follow, okay, in the United States. So this is what you need to do when you get pulled over. Now, the, before we get all the tips, when you get pulled over, that is when you see behind you in your rear view mirror, there are blue and red lights just flickering behind you. And especially if it's right behind you, then that means they're coming after you. So you need to pull over, but we'll talk about that a little more in a second, okay? But the other reason we want to share these tips, because we have we have clients, people call us and say, John, I got pulled over for drinking and driving, DUI or DWI, mm -hmm. and they had no idea what, what to do when they got pulled over, okay? And sometimes it's a little bit too late. So we'll probably have a, a guest uh, later mm -hmm. uh, this month that only does criminal law, and they can share with you tips on exactly what to do specific to getting pulled over with DWI or DUI. But now in terms of the basic interaction with the police officer, let's dive in deep into the tips. Okay, so number one, remain calm. And by the way, all these tips are actually straight from a certified police officer. Okay, in Texas, we call it also they have to have the peace officer uh, certification and they go through a lot of training, of course. So I just want to give you an idea on what he has shared with me because it would definitely keep everyone safe on both sides, okay? Um, now, when you get pulled over, I mentioned about those lights flickering, right, the red and blue. You want to pull over as far right lane as possible. And number two, based on that tip, mm -hmm. you, want to, you want to pull over as soon as you can. Now, of course, cops in general, this is all in general, right? Every cop is slightly different, but uh, you want to pull over in a lit area where there's, you know, bright lights. Okay, so this police officer has told me that, you know, if if it's a dark area where he's trying to pull you over, try to find a bright lit area. It can even be a parking lot. So, if to indicate to the police officer that you are trying to pull over, turn on your hazards. Okay. It's got the like the red triangle. I think there's got a couple triangles in there. Find that button and click on it in your car, okay? So it lets the police officer know that you're trying to pull over and also slow down, okay? I've had some clients, they were drinking and driving and even though they weren't actually speeding, they were slowing down, it was because that person was drunk or if someone was going way too fast, then either way, a cop can give you a citation, a ticket, for evading the police officer, evading arrest. So you don't want that situation. So you wanna be able to indicate to the police officer that you're trying to pull over, okay? <clears throat> so that was right there, pull over as far right as possible. Now, number three is no sudden movements, okay? So when they actually do pull you over and you stop, you want to uh, not move your hands around suddenly too fast. And here's why, because the police officer will automatically assume that you're trying to hide your drugs or hide your gun. And so you don't want them to think that. Okay. And by the way, here's a bonus tip. If you do have a gun, at least in Texas now, you don't even have to have a permit anymore, concealed hand, handgun license. I think that's ridiculous, by the way. I think everyone that holds a gun, carries a gun, needs to have some kind of license. 
because I've heard of people when they get pulled over, not only do they hand over their license and registration of the vehicle, they also provide the CHL, concealed handgun license. And that is helpful to let the cop know in a calm manner, oh, by the way, I am carrying a gun. But in some states, you don't even need the permit, the physical car anymore. So either way, it's very important to tell a police officer that you are carrying a gun because who knows at the end of it, you know, uh, they might say, uh, you know, get out of the car for whatever reason, and then they put their hands on you, right? And then they find the gun. It's going to, unfortunately, probably escalate the situation. So it's really better that you let them know in advance. Okay. Now here's the other thing. All right. Uh, yeah, you don't want them thinking that you've you've had any, you uh, move your arms and trying to hide anything because then they're gonna they're gonna try to search your car. Okay. Um, thinking that you've you've uh, committed a crime. So you don't want that kind of situation. Again, this is getting into more of the criminal law details. We're going to have a guest hopefully later this month in July to share some tips with us on that. Number four, this is actually a new one I didn't know about. Roll all the windows down, especially if you have guests. Now, again, if you have a baby in the back, that's different, right? But so the cop, especially and, and especially when you have tinted windows, because the police officer can't see who's back there or if there's anyone trying to do anything, you know, secretive or funny. Okay. So it doesn't hurt to share, uh, to do that. Okay. Number five, going through my notes here. Okay. Number five, you can actually politely ask the officer why you got pulled over. Now, a lot of the videos you've probably seen over the last two to five years with all this, all unfortunate shooting, not to say there's an excuse or anything or a reason for a police officer to shoot, but you want to, both sides need to do their best to de-escalate the situation and keep everyone calm, okay? Keep both sides calm. It's very important, okay? And you can politely ask why you were stopped. Now, I think people might too quickly ask, why was I pulled over? And they ask in an abrupt, rude manner. You always want to be calm and polite because it's just human nature right if you're going to yell and raise your voice the police officer as a human is going to naturally yell and also raise their voice okay again i would think as a professional police officer should stay calm as well regardless but it just it's human nature right human behavior so if you don't want them to try to escalate please also do not raise your voice either you want to be polite in fact i got about 17 tips from this police officer He's actually a client of our law firm before. And so five of those tips were about the same thing because it's very important. He wants to repeat this, and that is to remain calm. Okay, now number six, very similar to remain calm. Do not argue. Again, most of the videos you've probably seen, of course, a lot of them were in it, people very innocent. They didn't do anything wrong. But there were some videos where you could you could hear people were arguing, raising their voice. Don't do that. It's not going to help the situation. In fact, this police officer and everyone I've talked to have said, who work for a law enforcement agency, have said, the courtroom is the place to argue. Okay? You're going to get a citation, likely, right? If you got pulled over speeding, something basic like that. Or if I've even actually had a client whose taillight was broken. Okay? The lights weren't working, and so they weren't working. He couldn't use it, right? So that's a reason for public safety reasons. A police officer pulled him over. So that's something to know, all right? So don't assume that the police officer is pulling you over for no reason, okay? Now, because if you start arguing some way or somehow, that's going to lead to an arrest for no reason. So just keep that in mind. Okay, number seven, this is one that everyone knows, so I kind of had this towards the back to the end. We're almost to the end, friends. We have at least 10 tips. Have your license and registration ready to go, okay? Have it in your hand. Have it in your hand and with the window down so you can hand it to the officer and look at them and say, how are you doing, officer, okay? Number eight, okay, I mentioned this already. Roadway is not the courtroom, okay? Don't spend the time to argue on in in, uh, on the side of the, the road, okay? That's not the time or place. Number nine, 
keep your hands visible. You don't literally have to hand, hold it up high every time, but at least, you know, if, if it, even if you have the armrest, keep it up, okay? And do not reach for anything. I know that there was a, that a very unfortunate story with I know that was a very unfortunate story with Philando Castillo in Minnesota, and he told the officer he was he had a gun in one, and I think the officer even asked for it. He was reaching for it, and he got shot and killed. So that's not supposed to happen, obviously. But if you have a gun, you need to tell the officer. You can tell also tell the officer. It's very important. You tell him where the gun's located so that you can have the officer grab it. But, of course, tell him, please don't pull the trigger because you don't want to get accidentally shot, of course. Now, number 10. Sorry, that was my newborn baby a second ago, but uh, let me just check on him real quick. Okay. Okay, he's good. He's good. Uh, number 10, turn off your radio, okay? You do, again, there's another way of de-escalating the situation. And you don't want a cop, a police officer yelling, and then inherently that's going human behavior again. That's going to just going to uh, escalate the situation. So do a simple thing and turn off the radio. Okay. And then let's see. So ultimately, the overall theme here is do not agitate the officer, okay? And another way to not agitate the officer is to sign the citation, okay? I know, and just in general, at least with immigration law, we don't want to sign certain things. For example, like the 407 at the airport, because that means you abandon your resident status, okay? But in this situation, it is okay to sign the citation because even if you disagree with it, it's not an admission of guilt. It's just saying you're going to show up to court in the future, okay, friends? Again, um, welcome to Green Card Guys TV. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe down below. And if you don't know about this, we do offer free 15-minute preliminary discussion, okay? It could be with our legal team myself or another lawyer or our CARES team, okay? If you do have time, please fill out the form down below. It starts with Team Law, or, and we can, our CARES team will get back with you in the next, within 24 hours of business today. We've been getting a lot of calls ever since we started our channel, so please bear with us. But if you're at work, you can also text this number down below, okay? Uh, otherwise, we greatly appreciate it and stay tuned for our future news and click the bell if you're new again click the bell so you get all the future notifications and smash the like button until next time please continue wearing your mask take care